Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're an oldie, welcome back, guys. Today we're doing a New Year's Eve inspired look. I wanted to do a look if I was going out or celebrating New Year's Eve. What kind of makeup look would I do? And I landed on this look, and I really must say I love it. So without further ado, let's get into this makeup routine so you can see how I achieve this look. Alright y'all, so to begin I'm going to prep my brows and I'm going to go in with my NYX brow gel. And then while that dries, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Grip primer and I'm just setting my face and recently I've noticed that my nose has been a little bit more of a focus area so I'm going in with my Becca primer and just putting that on my nose area and I just kind of wanted a more full of coverage here so I went in and put some concealer on the corners of my um, lip area where they're a little bit more darker and then I went in and filled my brows and now I'm going in with my concealer to clean up the brow area and get it to my liking and this time for this look I decided to do my brow clean up at the top and the bottom so I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to go in with my real technique brush and just clean it up for these next couple of steps. And before I do my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go in with the concealer and just cover my whole lid um, as a base. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with my P. Louise in the shade number four as my eyeshadow base before I apply my actual eyeshadow. And just to set it all in, I'm going in with my um, my powder brush and I'm just going in and setting my lid. And then to begin with my transition shade, I'm going in with a very faint and very light brown. And I'm just doing that as a, just to make it softer for my transition color because I knew I wanted to go in and use um, some black and some silver. And I just wanted to make it as seamless and natural as possible. So to begin in the corners of my lid, I'm going in with the black and I'm just starting that to just figure out the area and how far I wanted the black to be because I didn't want to put the silver on first or the gray and then try to put the black on top and it form a different color. So I wanted to go in with the black versus my base in the corner of my lids and then apply the gray. So once the black is with the liking, I go in, I mean, sorry, not the black, but the 
I do say black. Well, y'all know what I mean. Once I apply the black in the corner of the lid, I go on with my gray. And I just blot that in there with one of my flat brushes. And I'm just going in to apply that to the area that I wanted to. And then I'm going to go in with a white. So I first went in with the white from the James Charles Morphe palette. But honestly, I'm going to say this in the best way I can say this. Um, I go on top of this color. Let me show you. I'm trying to find the right words, but pretty much I go into the crayon case with the white and it gives me the look I need. And you'll see when I use switch it over and use it because I thought like, oh, maybe I need to put a base here and try to put the white on top. And so I do that and then it just still don't work. So then I say, hmm, let me try a different one. And the white from the crayon case does it. What I wanted to say was I feel like the James Charles Morphe palette certain colors in that palette it's not made for um mm, certain colors in the palette don't show up as well on um myself i can only speak for me so it doesn't show well on me and so i always find myself going in to find a different palette like juvia's place or the crayon case to have the color that i need to show up better for me so that's how I feel about certain colors in that palette. So I went in and see, right? Look how bright that white is. Like, it's so much better. It just pops and it do what I need to do. And I probably didn't even need to do the base when I did it. But it's there now. We did it. And that's how it turned out. So that's pretty much it for the three colors I'm going to be using. And then once I blend that out, I'm going to go in here with the silver. But before I do that, I went in with the NYX glitter glue and I'm applying that to the lid area that I'm going to put the silver. And then I'm going to go in and get the silver. And the palettes I'm using are all Juvia's Place. Um, I can't even think of the name. I don't have the palette here. But I use the silver for one of those palettes. And I know that's bad. I, hopefully, I try to put it in my description box the eyeshadow palettes I'm using but they are some Juvia's ways so I'm just going in to make that color pop I use the NYX glue because I know when I use certain shimmers or certain eyeshadow palettes or pigments that have some of those clusters and things like that I know when I use the eyeshadow glue it helps it pop and makes the shimmer really show more so I did that there for those steps and I'm just taking a step back checking my eyes and looking in the areas that need to touch up and blend out more and that's what i'm just going to keep doing in these next couple steps So just to give my eyeshadow a little bit more of a pop since I was doing this look for like a New Year's inspired look, I went in with this glitter from Hobby Lobby. It came in a set and I just put that on top of the lid and it really made the look pop. So I'm going to do my face off camera and I'm going to come back for the final look. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I did my face off camera because I feel like that's pretty much repetitive. Um, I feel like my makeup, well, for this makeup look, I wanted to focus more on my eyes. And that's what we did here in this video. I just did something silver, something, you know, smoky, a little bit in the, the creases of my lid. I'm trying to get back to doing more creative looks this year as well. So I wanted to start off with a little bit of the smoky eye with a little bit of the shimmer and a little bit of the glitter with a red lip so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did and made it this far please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you have not already 
and hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload guys and as always stay true and stay you and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and thank you. <laughs>